What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, in today's video we're going to be trying out some homeware items from none other than Timu. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm a little bit late to the Timu bandwagon, but I discovered it recently in a video where I tried out a bunch of very extra dresses, which if you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it in the eye. And honestly, it just opened up my whole world to Timu, and I found some really cool items on there that I really wanted to test out for you guys in this video. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you wanna stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But if you wanna see what gems I managed to find on Timu, then without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the very first item that popped up for me on Timu that really caught my attention was this cushion right here. It's basically a round ball that's made of like the boucle sort of fabric, which actually matches my chair perfectly. It was 12 pounds and I have it right here. This is how it has arrived. It's a little bit squished from the package but let's open it up and hopefully it will fill out i'm pretty sure i went for the largest size and this is it i mean it definitely needs a little bit of shaping that's for sure it is so misshapen oh my gosh but it's actually pretty easy to like mold into shape i think it's already looking a lot better it's very soft though the fabric's really nice and whatever's inside is very like malleable i'm pretty sure it's the same stuff that goes in like teddy bears so here it is this is as best as i could get it into a round shape. I'm sure over time it will kind of find its correct shape, but yeah, this is it. I actually really, really like this, and I feel like for £12, it's a nice addition to a house. Moving on to the next item, I picked up this, like, water slash juice jug. I've always wanted one of them. They're usually really expensive in shops, but this one was, like, £8, so I just went for it. This is how it has arrived. I'm not entirely sure if this is plastic or glass. It's probably gonna be plastic for that price, but let's open it up. All right, so here here it is. This is what it looks like. It's definitely made of plastic as you can tell, but it's actually a pretty nice jug regardless. It has a really, really stunning sort of like wooden lid and it also has a strainer inside. I didn't even realize that. So that's pretty good if you want to put like fresh fruit in here. I think that's such a good idea. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. Moving on, the next item I wanted to try out was this diffuser slash humidifier. The one that I currently own in my bedroom looks like it has had better days. So it's very, very worn and I just needed a new one. So when I found this for nine pounds, I thought why not it matches my like house aesthetic pretty well It comes in two different colors, but I went for the black. Let's open this up I'm hoping this is gonna have a UK plug, but to be honest, I'm not counting on it This is it. This is what it looks like. It looks very premium actually I really like this like frosted black glass. Obviously it comes apart This is where you put the water it came with its own USB cable, but not a plug So I guess that's okay. The idea of it is that this part here inside is what lights up so it actually doubles up as a lamp and a diffuser. And up here is the little hole where like all the vapor comes out. So I really, really like this design, I guess. Let's try it out and see if it works. All right, guys, so here is the diffuser. The light is currently on. And as you can see, it is very, very like dim, which I really like because obviously for a bedside table, you don't want it to be too bright. And this is the top of it. As you can see, it's dispensing the vapor right now, but it's not very like obvious. You can't really see it as much as you could in the photo, but the diffuser part is definitely working. So, I mean, I really, really like this product. As you can hear, it's not too loud, so that's good. And yeah, I really, really like the look of this product. I think it looks very premium, but yeah, I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. Moving right along, the next item we're gonna be trying out is this candle right here, which really caught my attention. I honestly love anything to do with like space. This was so inexpensive, it was only three pounds. So I feel like this would be a great stocking filler for Christmas. This is how it has arrived. The box is a little bit damaged, so I'm hoping it's gonna be okay inside. I guess let's open this up. Ooh. Ooh, okay, so here it is. It's wrapped really, really well with tissue. Fingers crossed it is okay inside. It is, wow. Look at it, it is so freaking cool. Obviously they did have this in two different colors, I think. I went for the black just because I felt like it was a little bit more unusual. It smells really nice too. 
Wow, for three pounds, I feel like that is not bad. I'm definitely gonna use this as a stocking filler for sure. Now, speaking of stocking fillers, I also got two stockings from Timu and these were so adorable on the website. They were only three pounds, so, so inexpensive. I know they're kind of little and you can't really put too much in there, but I think they're more so for decoration. And I think they're absolutely adorable. So I got one for Matt and I also got one for me and I think they're just gonna be so perfect for our tiny home right now. We don't have an awful lot of room for Christmas. Christmas decorations this year so I feel like this is as far as I'm gonna go because we have so little space in our tiny home. In fact if you guys haven't seen our tiny home tour I'll link it in the eye because I feel like not everyone has seen it so if you haven't go check it out. But quality wise I'm really impressed with these. They actually have you know a decent bit of room for maybe like sweets or very little gifts. So yeah I'm definitely gonna give these a big thumbs up. Now moving on the next two items are kind of similar. They are wooden sort of like dish trays. You could put your jewelry in them. You could put I don't know what whatever trinkets you like. Let's open up this one first. Ooh, this is so nice. It's made of real wood. This very much fits the aesthetic of my house right now, as you can see. It's very like Japanese slash Scandinavian mixed together. So yeah, this is the tray. This was only five pounds, which I feel like is pretty good. And like I said, you could use this for anything on your bedside table for jewelry. You could put your phone on it, literally whatever you fancy. And the second one is another like wood based stand. But this time I think this is meant more for like the bathroom. You could put like your soap on it or your toothbrushes. This one was again five pound. So let's have a look. <gasps> wow, wrapped really well, but is this one real wood as well? It is. Oh my gosh, I love it. It totally would go on this shelf as well and like maybe put a little candle on it. There's so many uses for something like this. I really, really like it. Here's a close up of it so you can see. As you can see, it's got two little legs. I really, really love this. The next item, I feel like I've been wanting to get my hands on something like this for literally forever. This item was very trending on like TikTok maybe last year. So I never really jumped on the bandwagon, but it is this. It's basically one of those 3D moving art kind of sand like pieces. And yeah, these are usually quite expensive, but I found this for 13 pounds. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. This is what the box looks like. So again, it would make quite a nice gift. And this is all the colors that you could have got. I went for the yellow one. Here we go. Oh, it's wrapped really well again. So this is the base. I just went for like the black base and this is the actual glass piece. If I can get it out, here it is. It comes with instructions as well. Wow, look at this. So this is how it sits in the little stand and obviously you can twist it upside down and watch the magic happen. It's basically like a massive giant snow globe. Like, you know, when you were a kid and you would just like shake the snow globe and watch it fall. This is basically an adult version of that. It's actually very, very mesmerizing, but I don't love how cloudy this area is. A lot of them, when you spend a bit more money, they are like see-through. They don't have like this haze. I don't know, to me, I feel like this one is slightly not as good quality as some of the ones I've seen on TikTok, but it's still pretty mesmerizing and satisfying to watch. Now moving on to the next item. As you guys know, I've been really obsessed with bonsai trees lately. And when I saw this fake looking bonsai, I thought this is a really good opportunity to maybe put one in the shelf in the back. It's low maintenance, but it could still look like like a bonsai because you know it's kind of out of focus anyway so it doesn't really matter so I picked this one up for four pounds I didn't really think much of it and this is what has arrived at a first glance I mean it definitely looks very very fake here is the close-up it's literally just made of plastic like the whole thing obviously but I don't know I just thought maybe it would look a little bit more authentic this bug here just looks so fake it's shiny it just does not do anything but I do really like the fact that they've added like a fake moss right here. So for four pounds, I feel like it's quite a big product. And you know, in the background, it doesn't really matter if it's not very like real looking. However, I thought maybe there's a way I can make this look a little bit more real by just like collecting bark off an actual tree and maybe hot gluing it onto this. And maybe perhaps there's a way I could paint this and make it look a little bit better. I don't know, but I thought maybe I could turn this into like a little project and maybe do like a YouTube short around it where I try to make this look better than it is and a little bit more realistic. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. But I mean, for now, 
It's not the best, but it's not the worst. And now the very last item I'm gonna test out for you guys is this. It's basically a string of lights that were literally like £1.70, very, very inexpensive. I thought as Christmas is right around the corner, this might be cute. I just don't know how long the string of lights is gonna be because it literally looks so tiny. It just takes big AA batteries. So I guess we'll turn it on in a second and see what it looks like. But this is the length. It's pretty short, I think, but I mean, it might work for somebody that just wants to maybe wrap this around a tiny little Christmas tree. And now the moment of truth, does this actually work? Three, two, one. Ah, oh, it works, yay! The little lights are actually kind of cute. I really like the star shapes. So when I say this is worth it for two pounds, I mean, it's really down to you because, you know, the length really does make a difference for certain people. Like this for me is gonna be fine because I don't have an awful lot of room to put it. But for somebody that actually wants a longer length, this probably wouldn't be great. All right, guys, so those were all of the pieces from Timu that I'm gonna try out in this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know which one of these items was your favorite. I think my favorite two items were definitely the humidifier. I just think it looks so cool and so like expensive, even though it wasn't. And then I also really liked the like wooden tray. I think it's so cute. If you want me to do any more Timu hauls in the future, definitely smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. I hope you're all well and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.